Hello, friends, and welcome. You are watching episode number five of our production line, Portland Motor Company Let's Play. My name is Sean, and I'm glad that you're here with me today as I play some video games. We are... what were we doing when we left off? Well, there's quite a bit of a backlog here, so we were probably working on these choke points, but I think what we were doing was setting up our, our manufacturing, right? Like we had set up our, uh, our light manufacturing over here. And did I set the lights to focus on, to focus on import, or I mean, uh, focus on uh, uh, locally made products only? I did. Very good. All right. And nothing is falling short, so uh, we're able to keep up with our local production, which is really good to know. I suppose what I could start doing is trying to see if these... Uh, try to see if the uh, stockpiles have started working a little more correctly. Uh, but for now, I think I am going to... Um, I know we, we should have another sort of production ready to go. For some reason, we started with the accessories. Yeah, we can make seats now. So we have 3 minutes and 20 seconds to make a seat. And I'm guessing that we're using 4 seats per car. 2, two seats per car, huh? All right, I guess nobody's going to ride in the back. It's a four-door, but it only uses two seats per car. Uh, I'm not going to complain about that, so we need to make four seats every three minutes and 20 seconds. Well, isn't that how long it takes to make a seat? Oh, that's beautiful. So, uh, great, I just need four of these things in. That's easy. We should be able to fit four of them in there. Pretty, pretty straightforward manner. Even in this area, I think, is going to work if we do that. Well, that's one. Two. Nope. How about make seats instead of fit seats? That would be pretty silly. Three. Four. Beautiful. And then we will do... Now, can we get some additional resources in here? Because I do feel like we're kind of taking up all of our resource capacity. Hmm. Nope. Not really. Well, let's not, let's not give up quite yet. We'll see... Uh, See if that's going to be able to keep up. But it is, like I said, we are really st probably going to start pushing our limits. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and bring an import in over here. And um, I don't know if it's going to want to take advantage of it or not. But I guess what we could do is set up a queue of, uh, uh, set up a stockpile for the stuff that these guys bring in for the whatever all those different things are. I can't even see what they are. But you know what? Let's try that. Let's try setting up a stockpile. And we'll put it right there. And then we'll set from... Oh, copy from slot. Interesting. Uh, cool. Uh, can I copy it from a manufacturing slot? Those are... Okay, yeah. So how about seat assembly? Oh, they're not in a... They're in a weird order. Fit, fit seats, I don't want that. I don't want those. Fit wheel assembly, no. Nope, not those. All right, so I guess it doesn't have that, but that's okay. Uh, we can just find the items manually. That's cool, though, cool new feature. So what we want is uh, glass, and we'll go 12, and we want leather do 12 of that and then we want probably steel I think that's what they have coming in actually let's uh, let's check and make sure yeah yeah that's steel up there right steel great interesting that it uses straight steel instead of like steel sheets or something but that's okay all right so you'd think it would bring it from down here hmm do I not have it hooked up properly? I mean, it looks like I have it hooked up properly. There we go. Now it's bringing that stuff in. Cool. And that's the that's where I wanted it to bring it from is down there. And then hopefully that will push it all up there. Oh, so beautiful. Now, choose next research project. All right. Um, Yep, so we're just going to continue on this path. I do need to, uh, if we want to do our door panels, uh, I would need to specialize the door stuff. 
So we're going to hold off a little bit for that. I think I would need to specialize the door stuff. Maybe I wouldn't. All right, now you, can I configure you to prefer local? I mean, I know I can. Is it going to work, though? Will that pull it from the stockpile before it pulls it from anywhere else? Well, these guys are doing a pretty good job of pulling it from the stockpile anyway. So, all right, uh, that should help uh, should help distribute the flow of the stuff coming in. So I'm glad to see that. We've got cars still lining up to get out of here. I keep clicking on these things while I'm just trying to move the map around. I'm gonna shut that down. We are we are stockpiling cars. I probably ought to get some upgrades set up and go to a, a newer car model here before too long. I've really been focusing on on uh, setting up um, the specialization in manufacturing. Where do we put the doors on? That's going to be way back here, isn't it? So there's the roof. I guess we can just look at the car and see. Wait a minute. There's no doors here. It looks like there are doors there. Oh, nope, still no doors. Um, oh, fit doors right there. Great. All right, and does that just bring in door panels? So I could start actually manufacturing the door panels at this point. Um, on the other hand, I could just split that up and do the individualized fit door fit door panels, fit windows. Those are both really fast, too. So that would get us a lot more cars through. This does seem to be a bit of a... Uh, bit of a bottleneck so let's uh, let's try to get those things set up in here I'm just gonna clear out this whole area there we go all right so fit door panels we need two of those and we're gonna rotate the thing like that all right so we are gonna have to move over one way or the other but that's not a problem fit door panel and fit door panel like that sure That'll work. Uh, we're going to run the resource conveyor up here and over. We're going to run this conveyor like that, and this conveyor like that. Good, those are set up. And then next, fit windows. Well, fit windows is much easier to do. So we'll rotate this one that direction, and we will have this fit windows, I guess, in that or that. Hmm. I guess this one makes a little more sense. And then we'll go conveyor like that and conveyor like that. And then you're gonna go like that and over and you'll catch up in there. We're gonna cut that one out. And I just need to put some more conveyors in. Um, we'll just run this one straight across and down. Now you're connected. Whoops, I definitely don't wanna disconnect that one. There we go. Reconnect you. And now I can do fit or I can do manufactured door panels. It's taking a little time for them to get those windows up here, it looks like. Uh, so I need four door panels every two and a half minutes. So that's like 45 seconds for each door panel. So that's going to take a while, I think. Wow, three minutes and 33 seconds. So I'd have to have like seven, like six of them for each of those. So I would need 12 to fill up two of those. And these things are these things are very large. Okay, if you say so, game. I need twelve of them, huh? I mean, I can afford to rent this space out. Does it? It doesn't really have any uh, any convenient. Uh, but you know what? Let's do it. Let's rent this space out, and we'll set it all up over here. So make door panels. We're gonna go one. Two, three, four, five, six. That's not going to fit, is it? Seven, eight. What did I need? Twelve? Nine. 10, 11, 12. All right, now there's a lot of door panel stuff, but we've got it set up, so 
run these through here. That's kind of neat the way the, uh, I like the way that the stockpiles all line up with each other. And we'll run you there and down and up. And uh, that should be good. We'll run that one like that just for fun. And then we're going to run you to there and we'll put in a import, import resource importer. Boom. And that'll fill all that up. Uh, and then once we get the steel production, steel sheet production, we can set that over here somewhere. And then these will just go out like this. And over here is where we need to. Oh, oh, I missed a slot, huh? Fit wing mirrors. Hmm. What did I do? Fit door panel twice? No, I put fit windows on there. Uh, oh. Oh. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, well, that's all right. No problem. Fit wing mirrors. It's a nice little easy slot. Uh, how long does that one take? Let's find out. I guess I would want to leave a little extra room to see, but I doubt it's going to be fast enough. Yeah, I, I'm going to need two of them no matter what, so let's just do two of them. We'll, we'll keep the keep the uh, split line connection going on like we have there, and then we'll do this one like this, and you'll go up, and, and then we'll meet in the middle. Very good. All right, now let's get some of those resources being brought in. Now this is... Uh, this is getting pretty far away from the from the uh, original import line. I can make that a little better though by just doing this. That'll bring it up there a little better. We have spent what did we spend about a million dollars on on that expansion that we're barely even using. All right, so uh, fit door panels. We're gonna go import only or local only, and over here local only. All right, so now we should be getting all of our door panels locally. I don't think we have making windows yet, do we? Nope, not yet. All right, that's okay. How are we keeping up? Oh, we are. We could be pushing through quite a few more cars at this rate. Let's turn up the speed, see if that's actually the case. I guess I need to continue lowering the price on my uh, car. I guess we can't be getting a few more cars through. I was wrong. It was just the holdup at the station down here. That's not the right thing to do. Um, all right. Let's. Uh, what were we looking at? Windows manufacturer. I'm going to skip to wherever that is. Or is that what I just? Oh, okay, that's what I just researched. Got it. Um, all right, then let's let's go in the continuing order. So we just researched Windows manufacturer. Let's slow it back down here. Uh, have I upgraded the upgrade? No, let's upgrade that to high pressure paint and this one as well. Cool. And uh, these paint finish. Also, we're going to do that. And is this the other paint finish? Very good. Okay, now they're all high speed. And we're getting the cars through faster, so um, mission accomplished. And sufficient resources, so it has really taken a lot of time and effort to get all of this steel in here but it is coming in here slowly but surely and that will get our doors now the doors are having to wait obviously because uh, we're having to import all this nonsense um, now as far as making windows are concerned so that's not under accessories at all it's back up here under body fit doors fit windows fit windows takes two minutes 38 seconds probably takes four windows or does it take five it's, I know it's weird it takes five windows for some reason so that's one window every 30 seconds make window 60 seconds that's not too bad so I need two of those so I need four make windows well that's easy these are very large and clunky um, but I can fit them all in these weird little spots so that's one two, three, four. We'll just do it nice and simple. Uh, resource conveyor and we're gonna we're gonna put in a new uh, import spot up at that uh, import slot there and that'll help all of all of our imports that we've got going on here. And we're gonna run you over to there and then we're gonna do resource importer and boom there we go. All right so now we can uh, actually, I don't need to set up another conveyor to export because we've already got that one set up. And we can set our windows to only local and 
and um, uh, there we go. Only a local. Very good. Escape, 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 escape. Oh, look at all that glass. Going backwards on the belt, but that's okay. They need it up there. And we need their windows and doors down here. I should probably maybe set up a uh, set up a uh, stockpile for windows and doors. I'll put that right there, and we're gonna go. Boom, add item, door panels, add item, window. And we're going to go 16 of each, I guess, right? It holds 32. Or no, it holds 36, so 18 of each. There we go. That'll load that up. Um, it's too bad I can't set this to local only. Can I or can't I? Doesn't seem to be importing the stuff for it, so that's good. Hopefully it's not importing it from somewhere else. Um, all right, I'm just gonna leave that like it is. It seems, seems like it's not importing a bunch of windows and doors. I don't see them coming in on, on any of these things, so great, that is great news. All right, so now we're manufacturing all of our windows and doors and uh, we're getting a lot more cars through. We don't really have any bottlenecks, so we seem to be moving at a fairly high degree of efficiency, although this graph doesn't indicate that. This graph still indicates, well, most of our stuff is waiting for vehicles, and that's fine. We're up to 80-something vehicles per hour. Um, let's, uh, let's try bumping the speed up and see if, that, see if that goes up or down. I guess it changes to not available. And any moment now, it should go back to giving us a, the number that we want to see. Uh, we look at components here. So, okay. Um, hmm. uh, hey, this would be fun to look at. So mostly steel sheets and then door. That must be the door panels we're making, I guess. Ah, oh, boy, I don't know. doesn't seem likely that we're only consuming like 90 of those steel sheets per hour. All right, move, move, move manufacturer. Um, there's the fit roof. Fit roof, we need one roof every five seconds. So one roof every two and a half seconds. Well, that should be pretty easy to set up. We're going to go to roof menu. Well, we're going to go to, what is that, fit body? Fit roof, make roof. Hey, look at that. We could just have one of these. It's really all it's going to take to have those roofs done. Let's just throw that down there. And we will throw a resource conveyor on those two things. And that's all. Should be all it's going to take for that. Might not have been the best idea to put that in here because we need to split up this, these arches. And where are we going to split those up into? I mean, we've got a lot of crazy belts running all over the place here. Yeah, you know what? We could probably redo the arch thing in here without having to worry about the roof thing. So um, let's configure imports to only local. And do that over here too, only local. And so we should have like two and a half minutes being our slowdown for most of our production there. Um, let's, uh, let's look at getting these arches uh, split up. reorganize this whole section down here since we've got a couple of minutes shouldn't even really slow down the uh, overall like we'll get a little bit of a back a little bit of a backup over over here but I don't think it's going to be uh, the end of the world uh, we'll have to leave these while we're here just try to tidy things up in general of that and I need to remember to put in whatever that was that I just tore out of there it'll tell me though okay so uh, fit body frame fit arches fit front arch two minutes and 19 seconds well I don't even need to duplicate that just do one of those I can even just do it right there and then fit rear arch well that's easy as well you know what though I don't want to lock myself in like that let's leave some room to expand just in case there we go. And then after that is fit vent, and we can stick that one 
well, let's not put it there. Let's stick it right there. That'll work. And then we'll just have the conveyor go up and over and down, down. And well, that's not really what I want, but that's fine. Doesn't hurt anything. And then you're gonna go. Let's take the let's take the long route around here, just to leave room for possible expansion in the future. And then we'll run these conveyors like this and connect you up and connect you up run you up to there and over to there and it looks like that connects everything up as a matter of fact I'm gonna connect this one as well how about we go this direction though and delete those not that those need to be deleted but all right so now we're getting all those resources in I'm gonna go ahead and throw some robots on here even though they're really not necessary because we've got a two and a half minute uh, two and a half minute uh, thing here at Fit Roof, but that's okay. Why not? Why not have them speed through this section and, and then slow down? Hurry up and wait, I say. No export room. Yeah, that's because it's all full on the full on the stations there, isn't it? All right, good shape. And can we get a number 81? Well, we were beaten 81 already, 84, 85, ooh, 90? Come on, we can do 90 per hour. We can do it, but I guess we're not going to, not quite yet. It's all right. So we are backing up a little over here at the fit radiators. Well, we shouldn't be, that's only like a minute and a half, so it must be something else. That's backing us up. 148, 218. Well, I guess not. What is what is causing us this backup over here then? Like if that goes through at 148, I, I don't get why it would uh, why it would back up. Hmm. All right, let's slow down because we just discovered trunk manufacture. So fit door panels, fit windows, fit wing mirrors. Where's the fit trunk? Is it? I guess we can just look on here and that'll be the best way to find it. Fit body frame. The body frame comes after fit hood. So it goes fit roof is, oh, so it's way before all that. Huh? All right, let's close this up. Fit hood, fit trunk. Oh, we only have one fit trunk, do we? Well, that's okay. It must go pretty quick then. Two minutes and 30 seconds, and I'm sure it only uses one, of course. So that'll be an easy one to manufacture ourselves. Fit trunk, make trunk. Oh, even easier than I would have expected, since it doesn't take anything really to do it. So we'll just smack that down there. Won't even have to worry about getting additional resources in. Like they're just going to come in automatically. There you go. And fit trunk can go to local only. Now that is a long ways for it to bring steel from. Where the heck did it import that steel up there or something? That's weird. You'd think it would have just imported it from there. Hey, look at that. We have the opportunity for another resource importer, and we're not using it. What am I thinking? All right, come on up here, fellas, and then over this way. Whoops, don't don't jump over into the... Stay on top of these. These power boys like looking at all the, the stuff floating overhead. It makes their jobs exciting. All they're doing is standing there watching these generators all day long, so at least let them watch the stuff flying overhead that's cool. All right. Making, making most... Well, not most. Not even close to half, honestly of our components, but we are making good progress on having components and uh, overproducing, it looks like, um, which is weird because I thought we were going to definitely need way more door panels than, uh, than it shows we are needing. Maybe I misunderstood. It uses four every two minutes, right? So four every two minutes would be one every 30 seconds, plus another 10 seconds, so one every 40 seconds. And these take three minutes to make one huh yeah I don't I don't get it let's throw a couple more power plants down though and then that's uh, pretty much gonna bring us to the end of the episode 
Um, I hope uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. Um, this game remains lots of fun, and there's always new challenges on things to things to uh, to specialize and, and organize. And uh, I'm really having a good time playing this. I hope you're still having a good time watching. If you are, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I always want to hear from my viewers. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for subscribing and coming back and watching episode after episode. There will be another one tomorrow, so come back then and see it. I'll see you there. Bye.